What's up, YouTube, and all my fellow AMC apes out there? I just trade here. Let's talk about AMC. Yes, you know this is going to be a good one. Last time I spoke about AMC, I made phenomenal gains on it. I haven't been buying any shares or options on AMC. Uh, matter of fact, I will not be buying any options on AMC this around. If you look at the options, you will know, I mean, they are really, 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 really expensive. I mean, damn, like, really? Like, look at the, man, like, come on, I know we're paying for some insurance, but even the 69-day ones, I mean, these are still pretty pricey right here. I mean, you know, I could see us hitting $45, maybe $40, $44, but I mean, I'm not going to pay no $600, I'm not going to pay almost $600 for those ones right there, so I'm just going to go straight after the shares this time with AMC. Um... I think the market maker is taking advantage of the apes. I mean, you know, I mean, the, the, I just showed you the prices. They're through the roof. And I will not be playing or paying those crazy prices. But before we go any further, let's make sure you are subscribed and that like button is lit and that bell is on so you don't miss out on my next live stream or video update. Now, I am not here to talk about no short squeeze or none of that BS. I'm here to talk about the reopening play. I'm here to talk about why I originally acquired AMC. I mean, I went to the movies the last week with my wife and kids, and AMC was packed to the brim. And the movies we have coming out, ladies and gentlemen, are going to be phenomenal. I believe AMC is is way, way undervalued. Uh, there is no, I think there is really no way to even put a value on the reopening play. Be ready. And like I said, none of this is a recommendation to buy or sell any asset. I am not a professional. Do your own DD. But look around. This past week... I have acquired an additional 89 shares of AMC added at an average cost of $37.49 and I still hold my about 58% of my original investment in AMC. I think this year, no not this year, I think 2020, 20, 2022 is going to be a Goldilocks year for AMC ladies and gentlemen. Now if you look at the charts, I'm going to make this real quick, but on the one day one. You notice we're right here on the 120 day moving average losing that as some solid support right there and actually i think i already i actually had it mapped out kind of right here it did come back on the 120 day but you don't want to see all that it's a mess right there but what i am looking at is this spot right here a lot of people have been talking about this 41.99 to this 44 this 44.50 area right here I think AMC is about to gap up coming into this next week on the open. Now remember, I'm not a professional or anything like that. I'm just looking at the charts. The charts aren't exact science, but I do think we will be filling this gap down that we did here pretty soon on the way up. So expect AMC to make some pretty good jumps coming into this, this next week. I hope it doesn't do it too quick coming in on Monday because I want to grab more shares. But, I mean, like I said, I could wait to buy more shares. I haven't bought any AMC shares since way the hell back over here. So, I mean, I got some time to wait. But I will be watching the options for them to come down a little bit. That's all I got for you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week, weekend. And I hope to catch you on the next video. I'm out.